What's up, Keep Hunting Crew? We are back today with another live stream. Hit that like button, hit that follow button, hit that sub button, hit that bell, select all. Leave a comment down below if you feel like doing so. And don't forget to check out my Keep Pounding Facebook group page for in game posts, polls, opinions, and reactions to NFL news, as well as schedules for the channel and info on the Yahoo Sports Keep Pounding Fantasy Football League. Alright, let's get into it. So, David Tepper is meddling. He is meddling, meddling, and meddling some more. I, I'm about done with this nonsense, man. I'm telling you. As a Panthers fan, like... I have put up with so much crap with this team. And I'm still here. That's loyalty. Everybody that's still here, that's loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't even know what else to, to really say about this team other than we need to get ourselves back together and do it soon. Because this is making me angry. Very, very angry. I just got my hair cut and I was talking to the barber and we were talking about how messed up this team really is. And, you know, the more I think about this team, the more it made me want to get on stream and just pour my heart out, man. And just talk about this team a little bit today. And let out a little bit of that frustration. Because this crap is pissing me off. For real. How are you going to be an owner and tell a head coach to do his job on Bryce's footwork? On any quarterback that you happen to be an owner of. Something as technical as footwork. Okay? That's not your lane, Mr. Tepper. Stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? Stay in your lane, Mr. Tepper. You're smarter than this. You're better than this. Stop it. That's meddling. So you took training camp out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Which royally pisses me off. Because you heard so many people doing that. Including yourself. Because that is the biggest way to connect with some of these players. People were coming down here from Charlotte. Nobody was complaining about it. But yet, you move it up to Charlotte, everybody's going to go ape. Here's the thing about that. York was a happy medium. Okay, fine. You want to put it in York? You better make darn sure that you don't screw that up. Guess what? You screwed it up. You screwed the pooch. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if York County was actually in the right here. I'm starting to wonder that. You know what? York County people, I encourage you, come on in my stream and, and plead your case at this point. I encourage you. I want to hear both sides of this. Because at this point, I... Judging by what Mr. Tepper is doing right now, at first I was defending Mr. Tepper because I thought, okay, well, he told you not to pay in stocks and bonds and you did so. You know, so you stopped all work, you know, and then you paid off the workers. Okay, fine. 
the main person that I was concerned about was the workers getting paid. You know what I mean? Because they got to put food on the table and, and pay some bills with that money. You know, they got to live off that paycheck. But when you start messing around and acting all hillbilly and acting like you can do whatever you want just because you got billions of dollars, that, that's not acceptable, sir. You're not Donald Trump. Stop it. You know? You're not Bill Gates. Stop it. People got livelihoods, man. You are messing up people's livelihoods by doing this crap. And I got on Trump for the same thing. You know? Not to make this political, but I did. When he kept bankrupting his country, his uh, companies and stuff. I got on him for that too. To be fair. So, it's not good business practice. From a business perspective, yes, I did say something. But he's made billions more dollars than me, so what can I really say? That can really make a big difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, at what point do my words have any impact? But at the same time, like, there are rules, there are things, there, there are people's livelihoods at stake here. You know, and you're messing with them, Mr. Tapper. And that makes me very, very angry. You cannot use the fact that that is a big crowd and a big attendance as an excuse to move training camp out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Now I could understand if you were using Gibbs Stadium and it got overcrowded. Okay, fine. Then try, try to find somewhere in the entire upstate of South Carolina that you can host it at. We got several places over here in the area. You know, you got Greenville, you got Greer, you got Travers Rest. Any of these areas would do. You know, so that you can keep it in South Carolina. And I'm sure even, even Dabo Swinney would let you use his field over there in Clemson. If need be. He doesn't care because we put our inaugural season in that stadium. Granted, he's got to find somewhere else to do that, but that's their problem. You know, they'll figure it out. The problem is... And I would not even be mad if you decided to do that. I would be okay with it. I'd be like, okay, then where are you going to re relocate the Clemson practices to? You know, I would be awaiting that answer. You know, from Clemson. I wouldn't be awaiting it from you, Mr. Tapper. I'd be awaiting it from, from Clemson. The thing is, we've done this little song and dance for long enough... That's really cool. But, uh, we've done this little song and dance long enough that Mr. Tepper needs to understand that you can't keep doing the stuff that you're doing and expect this franchise to come out of the grave. Okay, you're putting it there. You are putting it there by doing all this stupid garbage that you're doing right now. So you meddle with training camp, you meddle with our quarterback, you meddle with our head coaches, wouldn't even let them hire their own staff. And you expect people to actually get on board with you? <laughs> I don't think so. Try again, bucko. We're more pissed off than we've ever been after the last three years. That's on top of the, the things we were pissed off about before.
So when you really think about it, we've gotten way worse under his ownership. How is that helpful? Yeah, give me a second. What's up? All right. You have created a mess, Mr. Tapper, and you have to clean it up. You are the only one that can. There are only two things that could be worse, and I've already named them. And that is rock bottom. You don't go any lower than that. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I refuse to watch a single game with Bill Belichick as a head coach. I refuse to watch a single game where we go through a 20-year drought. I'm just going to go automatically into draft mode every year. And focus 100% on the draft. Because at that point, I'm going to be fed up. Because there is no hope. There's no hope. So, I don't know. You want to resurrect this franchise, you got to do it the right way. Otherwise, you're just walking into more nonsense that is never going to get you anywhere. So, Frank didn't even get to hire the staff he wanted to hire. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at this point. Um, judging by the way Frank coached, I don't know. You could go both ways with that. But my thing is... When you got rid of Frank, you got rid of most of our problem. So. I'm going to offer you yet another solution to the problem. Which is hire Ken Dorsey. Go after Pat O'Hare. The quarterback's coach that work with Tannehill, hire him, develop Bryce, have them suggest what players to draft and to pick up, it's real simple now, real simple. I just, I don't understand why people make so, such a big deal out of Bryce Young's size, yada, 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 you know. We've already debunked that argument. Come on, man. Like, stop it. Just stop it. Like at this point, all I'm trying to do is just save this franchise with any suggestions I can make. And Mr. Tepper, you seem to just want to destroy it. Which I don't understand. Every piece of what we've been trying to do 
You've been trying to destroy it. Actively destroy it. That, sir, is metal. And I don't understand why. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Yet you continuously do it. You have no knowledge on what this team is, what this franchise is, and you continuously throw it under the bus and keep doing stupid crap. I'm telling you, it will not lead to good things. It will just lead to more losing seasons. Mr. Tepper, with, with all due respect, you're a good human being, you're a good person. But as an owner, you're an idiot. Okay? You're an idiot. Because you refuse to take the time to learn this franchise and do things the right way. You're an idiot. And every bit of the decision making that you have made has come back to roost. And you're surprised? You're actually surprised, sir? Let me tell you something. Get a clue. We're fed up. We're fed up, bro. Straight up, I would give this man a hug if I met him today. And I'd be like, okay, cool. You know. I met him. It's done. It's over with. Now. Anyway. The man's an idiot when it comes to football. Learn the team or stop meddling. I'm done. I'm done. Stay happy, healthy, and well. Keep pounding.